In his address during the emotional state funeral service for late Deputy Prime Minister and Bulolo MP Sembasil, Prime Minister James Marape thanked the late parliamentarian's family, the people of Bulolo and Morobe, for returning him without fail over the last 15 years to serve them and the country. He said late Basil was a strong leader who did things his own way. Unlike many of us who have emerged through the rough and tumbles of the rural hinterlands of our country or the rural outbacks of our country, our simple rural upbringings have always caused us to fight for the rights of our rural people and our simple people. The Honorable San Basil is an epitome of such leadership. No wonder why the Wau and Bulolo people have been closest to his heart, and they have been also keeping him close to their hearts. Indeed, the Honorable St. Basil's upbringing in the rural areas has in every way and shape and form influenced his leadership. He worked tirelessly for our country. The Prime Minister further described the late Deputy Prime Minister as relentless and one was driven in ensuring that political impediments did not get in the way of doing what must be done for the country. He says Basil was an exceptional MP, having served his Bulolo electorate with distinction for three unbroken terms. In the 15 years of his service to our country as a member of parliament, he rose from the opposition ranks to be deputy opposition leader. And he also rose from the government ranks to be Deputy Prime Minister, only a few in PNG politics can claim to have achieved these ben benchmarks. Late Basil was one of five MPs who entered politics in 2007 and remained in office until today, including NCD Governor Povis Pakop, Leader of the Opposition, Belder Nama, Alotau MP Charles Abel, and Prime Minister James Marape. Fred Mo, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.